Hi, um, my name is Ben, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a fluorescent light fixture flicker for a Halloween or any other effect. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment, and then I'll uh, give you the supply list, and um, or send me a, a message, and I'll be happy to reply. And uh, I'm going to get my com camera, and I'm going to... Um, show you the rest of the video. Thank you. Okay. We'll start with the fluorescent light fixture. Here's the fluorescent light fixture right here. And you can notice that it has two plastic tubes that slide over the fluorescent light fixture that is painted with a green, bright green tint, uh, transparent um, paint that I got at my hobby store. And now, um, I will show you the light cord. And right here is the cord. It goes all the way over to a power strip. And the power strip is, you can notice that there's two things plugged into the power strip. Now, the small lamp cord is plugged into a lamp over here with a 25 watt light bulb in it. And the 25 watt light bulb pulls a little bit more juice than the fixture does. So, the flashing unit that makes the whole unit work operates properly because the fluorescent light fixture, since it has a ballast in it, ballasts actually pull a little bit less juice than they actually say they do. So, it makes it so the flasher unit doesn't operate at all. So, I recommend using a 25 watt light bulb in the parallel system like what I have right here with the power strip so it pulls a little bit more juice now if I go back to the power here you'll follow this cord to this device adapter I built myself and that's what makes it flicker from this three prong, I go down to a two prong with the adapter, and I recommend bringing a jumper from here across to a plug. But I don't have a three prong plug, so I put this two prong on for now. And now I recommend you put the the jumper from this from a three the from the ground terminal on the, the plug here around to this prong here on the little adapter then you plug it into a device that that little adapter that transforms a light fixture thread into a two prong plug and I have a construction socket that's the black rubber ones with the two wires on it and I just attached it to a socket I mean a plug right here now inside if you unscrew let me let's see let me unscrew. I mean, let me uh, unscrew it. But I have to put the camera down so I can unscrew it. So just a second. Okay, it's unscrewed. Now, if I dump this little disc out of the socket, this little disc is what makes the whole operation work. It has some kind of like um, thermal um, heating system, uh, thermal heating plate inside that when it gets to a certain temperature from a certain amount of wattage pulled it opens the circuit and then closes the circuit when it cools and it does that every second so it cools very fast. So then what you do is you pop it into the socket like so and then you screw it back in like so let me put the camera down again sorry about that and, you know I wish I had like four hands <laughs> so um, now it's all back together now we go back to the power strip and when you flick this switch on it takes a moment for that heating thing to thermal thing to heat up so that's good it operates 
Now if you look at that light, it's blinking, but you can see in the background my fluorescent green light is flashing. So if you follow the power cord, back to the fluorescent light. Now you see that individual bulbs are erratically lighting and it makes it have a really good effect. So then now when you go back to the incandescent it's only flashing on and off and what causes the fluorescent light to individually light is because it's a magnetic ballast and it individually lights each bulb and it has to be a magnetic ballast. It cannot be electronic ballast. If you want it to be an electronic ballast you won't get the individual starting of the bulbs as erratic. It will just go on and off, on and off. And now if you, you can see better it's a little bit greener but it's white in the camera so um, it's better if you are here, but <laughs> the videos work. Okay, so and then if you go back, and then follow the whole thing back here like that, and then that's the power source. You plug it in, and it's all good. And if you would like a parts list, just uh, send me a message or a comment, and then I'll be happy to reply. And I hope you liked the video. And, um... Another thing, just before I end the video, is an uh, easy thing to get a fluorescent light is just a shop light. So it's just a shop light, for, um, and they cost about $9 at my Home Depot or Lowe's. doesn't matter where you go, as long as they're cheap, because you don't really want to spend too much money when flickering a fluorescent light. And because they don't, you don't know how long they'll last. So hope you like the video, and thanks for watching, and please comment and rate. Thank you.